So in today's video, I want to show us how to complete our Ruby KYC verification step by step on how to complete your Ruby KYC verification. This video might be long because there's a lot to talk about in this video. So please kindly be patient with me uh, while going through the process. So I'm doing it for the first time as well. So I may make some mistake, but I'll try and correct myself. Then we can do it together. So now, before I proceed, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share. I will drop the link to my WhatsApp group. Please join my WhatsApp group. And I also drop a link to my WhatsApp channel. Please kindly follow my WhatsApp channel for updates. My WhatsApp group is meant for question. So if you're a Nigerian and you want to buy uh, Ruby, then you can contact me because you will need the Ruby for your KYC. Why? Because you have not been verified, so you don't have a Ruby. So now, I, the first thing you need to do is to create a wallet in this Ruby app. So creating a wallet, you have to come, you have to click on this place and create your wallet. Keep your phrase write it down somewhere and keep it safe then when you create your wallet you are good to go to buy a ruby from somebody uh maybe someone closer to you has verified who has done his verification or if you're in nigerian you can ask me then i will definitely put you through on how to get it so i got it from somebody as well so quickly let's move on so when you click on the wallet you create your wallet i've created mine so i've created my wallet already so i bought some ruby from somebody uh who is faithful very fast transaction and in short i so much love it uh so i i bought from the person so after you must have created your ruby wallet then you need to buy ruby from somebody at least minimum of two a maximum of six for me i bought four and i'll show you the reason why i i bought four or you have to buy minimum of six or max, uh, minimum of two maximum of six so the choice is yours so let's continue quickly so i will dive into my like i said i'm doing it for the first time so i'll click on this place and see i think yes so and i'll click on my information my information or oh, sorry that's not what i'm supposed to do okay sorry user verification so i'll click on user verification user verification now here is where your kyc is inside your user verification so you click you can see i am not verified so i'm doing it for the first time as well so i'm going to click on i'm going to click on not verify so now if you have been given KYC, you should see this. So I'm going to click on continue. Now, if you have been given KYC, because it's not everybody has been given KYC, you will see this tick, blue tick. If you have not been given, that means you have to wait. Wait for some time, just keep mining every day. You will surely and definitely receive the KYC. So if you have received the KYC, you click on continue. That is after you must have created your wallet. Then you can read through all this. So now, don't forget this information. The number third information, uh, this number three information that says information to provide. You just need to provide the following information. So these are the information that you need to provide, which your full name as per ID so or passport. So if you are using ID card or passport, you have to give your full name according to the way it is in your passport your ID, card number, date of birth, gender, um, resident address, if applicable, then you do some selfie and all that. So I think there are additional things that we need to do as well. So of which I will get to know because for me, I've not done it before as well. So I'm just doing it for the first time. So when you scroll down, then you check in this box. You can see, you check it in. So once you check, you click on continue as well. So now, this is the reason why I said you will need the Ruby. So now you have to make a payment. Payment of, 
you can see the payment, individual payment, payment of six ruby, four ruby, or two ruby. So that's why I said minimum of two, maximum of six. Now, this is the reason, and you have to make your choice. The choice depends on you, and why. So if you read this place, he said allow resubmission. That means if you pay six rubies, so you can do resubmission up to five times. That means if you fail the first KYC, you can do it again up to five times until you get it. But I think if you get to five times and you are unable to get the KYC done, definitely you may not be able to complete the KYC again. So now, if you are on this, uh, if you do five, uh, six ruby, like if you pay for six ruby, so the queue is not that much. So you only have 100, 100 people to verify you within four hours. So now, if you choose four, if you use four ruby, this is if you use four rubies, 600 people before you get verified, and you can only try it for just three times. So it has to be within 24 hours, you'll be verified. Within 24 hours, you'll be verified. Now, the next one, this is two. If you are sure of yourself that within just two times you can get it done, then you can go for two times. Mm, for me, I'm trying to think now that I will, I will go for two times. But the two times is going to take me a lot of time. So let me go for four. So I'll go for four so that at least I'll be at the queue within 24 hours. I should get the notification. So I'm going to click on make reservation. I'll click on make reservation. So let's just wait. So now here I am. So I'm going to make payments to this. So if you have somebody by your side who has Ruby, the person might not send it to you. The person can just screenshot, uh, can just uh, scan the QR code. The person can just scan this um, QR code and or probably send some, or scan this QR code rather. So once the person send, uh, scan this QR code, it will definitely pay for you. The person can pay for you. And yes, so now because I have Ruby in my wallet now, I can click on Oh, sorry. Because I have Ruby in my wallet, I can click on checkout. I'll click on checkout. So now, this is my checkout. So I've picked four. So I want to pay four. Uh, I want to pay four. So I'll be sending it. So I'll just click on transfer. This is transfer. I'll click on transfer. So. Don't forget, aha, when you create your when you create your wallet, you have to set up your PIN. So quickly, I'll go back to that place to show you where to set up your PIN. I forgot to mention that earlier on. You have to set up your PIN. So let me go back to that place very quickly. Uh, sorry. Let me go back to the place where you will need to set up so to set up your pin you have to click on your wallet when you get into your wallet click on your settings at the top corner at the right corner here when you click on your settings then you click on pin settings pin settings then you set up your pin so i've set up my pin earlier on so i don't need to set it up again so that's how to set up your pin so let's go back to where we stopped so don't forget this is where we stopped so i'm going to click on transfer so now i have to input my pin so i've imputed my pin so i'll just click on done i'll click on done So now the transaction has gone successfully. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to click on is to click on already paid. Already paid. I've done the transaction over and over again and it wasn't successful. So I stopped. So now we have a message amazing success. You have successfully paid the KYC booking fee. Please proceed uh, please press KYC now. To continue so I'll press KYC now 
to continue. So now I'm having this information. So you have to read very carefully before you make progress, before you continue. So now this is the information I'm having. Ruby is a community project based on consensus by real users. So KYC is mandatory and will help Rubyan ensure the following benefits. So you can read over and over again. So I will not be using passport. If you are using passport, you change to passport. If you want to use national ID card, you change to national ID card. So I'll be using national ID card because that's what I, I have. So then I will click on continue. So now I think there is a, there's an instruction that says you are using a paid KYC request with, with you have a maximum of pauses in the KYC process to correct errors. Please prepare your national ID card passport that matches this account ownership information. Please provide clear, sharp, and correct image. So that is very necessary. Notice the KYC fee amount is non-refundable in any um, resulting case. So it's non-refundable, so I agree to that. So I'll click on OK, I got it. Now, so these are the, I'm going to fill out all this information. So the information we are having document number, uh, full name. So exactly according to ID. So we are having date of birth. I'm going to do that as well. We are having gender, having nationality, place of origin. All those places are not necessary. Expiring dates. So we are going to place expiring dates, place of issue. And um, so now I'm going to upload the, the, the ID. And now here we come. So we have take a photo according to the illustration. You write Ruby inside a white paper. You write it. Say take a photo with the front of the ID card and the handwriting signature, I'm sorry, the handwriting sign with the test. So I have to write Ruby plus shooting date, shooting date rather. So that means I have to write Ruby and today's date as shown. So I'm going to write the date exactly the way it, it was written. So I'm going to write everything the way it is in that particular place. Then, uh, please, attention to the quality of the shot, not obscure or bright. So it must not be too bright. It must not be too, you know, uh, too. So after you have done that, you click on this check, then you do the necessary thing. You click on I've read and agree, blah, 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 blah. So all I need to do now is to fill this form, upload my ID, and do this next. Uh, so let me just click on this and see what is going to be. So that means I have to scan. I have to take the picture with, with, with the camera. So I love the way this is done. So I'm taking the back of my ID right now. So after I took the picture, so it's it's like this. So I am going to adjust it and make sure it's in the size of the frame. So make sure you did the same when you are doing the front page. So I don't want my information to show. That's why I, I'm not showing you the front page. But this is the back page of my ID. So. I'm going to click on, I'll click on the blue mark at the top right corner. So, so on this last KYC, which is the third one, so I'm going to explain. So you can see this third one. So I've uploaded my front ID, I've uploaded my back ID. So now this front ID, you you will need a marker to write Ruby. You can see how bold Ruby is.
So you can see how bold it is. So for me, I'm going to use, I don't have a blue marker, I have a black marker with me. So I'm going to use black marker. I'm going to write Ruby as bold as it is there in a white plain sheet paper. Then I'm going to write the dates according to the way it is. So you go, you're going to write the dates, the month and the year of a present time where you are making, as I'm making this video. I think it's, today is May 3rd or May 4th or so. So I'm going to check and do that right away. I'll be right back. So now I am doing, I want to do the um, Ruby verification with the Ruby. You can see the way I place it. My ID card is also in my hand. So, and I will take it. So once I take it, I'm going to show you. So you can turn the camera back. You can turn it back. So that someone can take your picture so that it will look very good. So I'll be right back. So now as you can see, this is how the picture is. So I so much love the way they, they make the frame. You can adjust it after you must have taken the picture. You adjust it properly so that you will be able to. So you can see this is the way I wrote the ruby, the dates and everything so the next thing you just need to do is to click on this as well so now this is it i've entered the full information so i've entered my id card i have to block some information i'm sorry i've entered my id my full name my date of birth and then um, of course i'm a male then i'm a nigerian so you just have to enter so let me show you more information so these are the other information as well so as we all know our nigerian id card does not have an expiring date so i just put you know but we have a date of issue you can see here in my id card the date of the issue issue date is on the 12th of august 2022 so that's why i put on the 12th of august 2022 here then but since we don't have an expiring date but expiring date is required here because it has a um, red tick so expiring date is required so now i have to extend it by some years and i put it to 20, 2030 so i did 12 12 2030 so we don't have an expiring date so uh, we we have a permanent id card so but i have to put it since they requested for it so this is my front this is my passport front or oh, i'm sorry my id card my front id card this is it so yeah uh, let me show you more information so sorry i've i've try and check over and over again and see if there's something you need to fill so you can see i uh, fill out all the information correctly so i'm going to click on send kyc i'll click on send kyc so guys i'm done with everything i am done so you can see i received a message this is what I received. After I click on send KYC, this is what I received. You can see priority level 2Q index with this number. I don't know what that number is for. Probably I will have blocked it. I don't know. So I'm seeing solution worldwide KYC uh, waiting for approval. Now I'm getting a countdown of 30 minutes. I don't know. I think that yeah, this is 30 minutes or how many days? yeah or uh, whatever so i be test i don't know so I'm, I'm getting that countdown so i'm so happy this time that i'm able to do do this kyc and at the same time i'm able to you know make the video please uh, kindly subscribe to my youtube channel like and share my video please subscribe to my youtube channel there are more information i'll give out on other um cryptocurrency you can check my youtube channel and see if there are uh, videos that you need on some other cryptocurrency please kindly subscribe to support 
your guy kindly subscribe to support me and like comment then you can join i'm going to leave um i'm going to leave the uh I'm going to leave the link to my WhatsApp group where you can ask questions. So if you're a Nigerian, I'm saying it again, if you're a Nigerian, you want to get your ruby, you can contact me. I will, I will direct you to the person where I, I got it from, or probably I will sell from mine. So whichever the case may be, contact me and I'll get it for you. So if you're a Nigerian. So on the era today, I would like to say bye for now and stay blessed. All right, before I go, let me just click on view details and let's see what it will come from there. View details. Oops.